Hi, welcome back. In this video I want to talk about enable if. And it's an idiom which together with Sphine used to allow function overloading based on arbitrary properties of type. So it's basically a tool to remove some function template instantiations from the overload resolution set. And I will show you a few examples using enable if from standard library and then we will implement our own enable if to show you how it works and you will see that it's very easy to implement and to understand. So let's get started. Here I have two overloads of function foo. Both are templatized. Here I am expecting template parameter to be unsigned. I am saying that SCD is unsigned. I'm using this type trait from type traits header that checks if type is unsigned. I'm saying is unsigned and then I pass as template parameter T that I have here. This T goes as template parameter here to is unsigned. And then I will take value which is either true or false. In case T is unsigned, it will be true. Otherwise it will be false. And that, and then that either true or false will go to, will go as template parameter to enable if. And then we will try to retrieve from a particular specialization of enable if type, if there is type in given specialization. And if there is no type, then it will be invalid. It will be ill-formed. Otherwise, it will be it will remain in the overload resolution set. So if T is signed, this will be removed. Otherwise, it will stay. And in this case, we expect that T is signed. It basically will have this function in in all the cases. So, and here I am calling foo with x which is of type int and compiler will see that it is signed and it will discard this overload because it will see that int is unsigned. It will, it will try to substitute int here substitute this template parameter t with template argument of type int and we'll try to instantiate the prototype of this function foo but it will fail because this is this will be ill-formed because int is signed and we will not retrieve type and then we have Another example, so I have two structs, A and B. B inherits from A publicly because it's struct. And then I have struct C, templatized struct C. And I expect that this template parameter T, that it inherits from A. So here I'm saying, I'm using type trait from this header, is base of And is based of if I'm checking if A is a base of T or otherwise, or in other words, if T inherits from A and I'm getting the value true or false and it goes to enable if, and again, I'm trying to retrieve type. So here I have C with B and since B inherits from A, it will work. This will, this specialization, this struct will remain Compiler will not discard it and it will compile. So let's see that it works, compiles and prints T is signed. So here we have a call to this function because this was discarded 
and also here we create an instance of this type and also note that we may use logical operators for enable if for example here we may say and or we may say or we may say and std is is arithmetic for example so here we say we expect that t is unsigned and t is arithmetic for, uh, or we may use some other type traits so you can use logical operators here and here if for example b, instead of b we use something else that does not inherit from a int for example then this will fail and since there is no other c we will have a compilation error so here it is it failed to compile because int is not a base it's not a derivative of a similarly if we if we remove this overload it will also fail because compiler will discard this one so this one fail as well because we pass int which is signed and if you, if you make unsigned int then it will work and we will see t is unsigned so that's how we use enable if and sfine. Now let's let's try to implement our own sfine instead of this one from standard library. So it's very easy to do. Let's have struct struct enable if and here we say it expects template argument of type bool. So here we expect bool type and here we will have a specialization, a full specialization for enable if and we here explicitly specifying so it's called explicit it's called full template specialization because we, we may for example if we create a class or struct as, as here a templatized struct or class we may also create specializations so we may have different implementations for different template arguments for different types that we will pass so for example with this type int we will have one implementation of of class and with type with some other type we will have another implementation so we may use different implementation of classes based on on types that we pass so here we say that enable if expects this type boolean and we may here specify we may here provide implementation for enable if in case the value is true and we may also here specify for example like this but that's not about it so here in case we have true we will say using type and let's use some type void here for example so and notice that in this enable if in this implementation we don't have any type like this but in this specialization of enable if when boolean values that we will pass will be true 
we will have this type. And let's let's use it. So here I will say enable if and enable if. So again, here if we use int, if we pass int, compiler will substitute it here, it will try to substitute it, and it will appear here is this int and is unsigned will give here in value false because int is signed and false compiler will select for false compiler compiler will select this implementation enable if because this one is only for true and since compiler will select this one there is no type and therefore here we will not be able to retrieve type. There will be no type. And this will be ill-formed expression. And therefore it will be discarded. But if you instead specify unsigned type, here we will have true. Because it's unsigned value will give true and true comp for true compiler will select this enable if it will instantiate this enable if with full specialization in case of true and this one has type and here therefore he will have this will basically be replaced with void with this type so that's how it will look basically we'll have like this So that's, that's how enable if is implemented. That's basically all you need to know. And it's useful together with Fini to manipulate types, to manipulate function overload, to remove some of them from overload resolution set based on properties of types. And it is heavily used in standard library in boost libraries and in general in, in programming in C++, especially when we are implementing some libraries. And let's, let's, let's also compile our implementation and we'll see that it works the same as before. So here it is. And that's all for this video. See you next time.